Fick, Diggy, pick as we go into game number oh. one. Oh, phew! Well, off to a great start already as we're at the split screen there, and that's already a kill going to the hands of Ding on that Benedetta. Excuse me. Position here already for this game one. Oh. Already, though, Few going to be in trouble again as he gets taken. his job. He knows that he needs to get his oh. items, but, oh, look at this. Brusco, just like that, that's what we're talking about. The burst is there. Brusco, possibly, not even sure if he had to use the Petrify, but time journey was committed. They get the kill. Now they have the numbers advantage here on the bottom side. Still looking for more. Ogwin respawning there as well in the bush. Should be fine to get the kill he wanted. But the burst is already there, right? And you can see it. But here, top side, still focusing. Flap Teasy going to have to secure himself. This turret still up, but can't do it as he falls top side in a 2v1. So that even though we're just going transitioning towards the mid game. Okay, they get the flicker out from Oguin. That was the concealed play coming out as well. Kyle Teasy going to the back side, looking for anything he can find. Rough Waves comes out too. A lot here expended by both teams. Ding. Ding though, gonna take the brunt of the damage, has to back off as well. Keep an eye on Flap Teasy. He enters the back side, oh. looking for Goyang. He finds him. NXP as they make their way for this dance. The fight, the Electo final blow comes out with the Petrify. Ding takes quite a bit of damage. Oh, the Lord's still less than early. half health. Colt Alter already committed here. Brandon with a minor upper hand. Who's going to be able Blap. to secure this Lord? Blap. Blap goes in. Super Marco with grab the kill. Still on the focus. Quite low here. There's the Colt Alter response from Pew. It's going to come down oh. to the Red Tree battle. And it's Boya that grabs it. But he has to flicker out to still retribution timing to secure the Lord for NXP. And there's all the more just amplifies the storyline of each roll, each lane is going to matter, and there's a pull! Okay, Flicker in from Oakwin, looking to grab a kill here, nice setup! Ding, can he help out in time? Everybody quite low, that's three down for the XPE, Brent collapsing hard, able to come out on- I'm not your target, Super Marco is, tried to commit onto my, oh. my Valentina, oh, and wow. look at this, Super Marco's going wild! He didn't even press Inspire! Yeah, he didn't even use it in that. Was just top side to push. It's kind of awkward now for NXP that Ogwin hasn't even wow. died after the initial take that NXP did on the early game. Well, Brusco might be looking for an angle himself. Not going to be able to find it. Lord still up here. Rough Waves comes out. Whoa! Boyan again! Able to secure the Lord. Flap Teasy falls here, but Super Marco still unleashing. It's only a one. He always copies the uh, cult altar, and it gives an uh, you know an instant reset for brand esports. Oh. And two, uh, the time journey, the time journey and cult altar is such a great kit against characters. Zangle. Yeah, they're still gonna be looking for it. Also, Ding waiting on the back side. Could be looking to crash down here from Brand from. Ouch. A Ouch. bad angle for them, but look at the poke to Ogwin. Still, Lord gonna reset. Ding still in position. Might find it in the book. Oh! First is there. Ogwin gonna be in trouble. Flickers out. But it's Ding that finds the kill. Trying to cut Got them off the best he can. Can he get Super oh! Marco? He does. Ding with a double. But on the back side, Kyle Teasy grabbing a kill for himself. It's a two for two. Make it three. Bren finding another. Then inhibitor turret going down. They get the tier two as well. And now they're just fighting for space and position here. NXP doesn't want to give anything up, though, if they can help it. But right Ding. now, Ding. Like the final blow, oh, flap. Out. flap Teasy did flicker in, still the back and forth. There's the time's journey. Brusco can't get the kill he's looking for as he falls. Super Marco adding another one to the list. Still going under the turret, unleashing here. Ding, trying to find anything oh. he can. Alter. Colt Alter comes out, oh my and they goodness. hold on for a little bit longer. Ugly gains his HP back and also has his own Colt Alter. You're not gonna, you're not, you're not gonna commit into that. Oh. And then suddenly Flap Teasy just flickers in. I mean, Midnight, are you saying there's more than just two frontliners? Even few counts as one, boy. It. Right now, this is going to go in the hands of Brent if they can. Oh! Oh, boy, it. How does he do it? Able to scare another Lord. What? But can they survive long enough from the damage output from Super Marco? No, they can't. So despite getting the Lord again, Bren might push this one in for a win. One cannon, though, for Bren Esports. One minion cannon. Oh, and Lord comes out. So that's at least some deterrence. Yeah, but 40 seconds. Yeah, that's a long that's time too much. here. 40 that's too seconds. Much. They're going to push him back. The Lord's going to go down here Look in just Kyle. a second. Kyle Teasy doing exactly oh! what he needs to do. 
What a move! Able to get the kill with the Appraisal's Wrath, and that's gonna be it there as Brand Esports takes game one. Valiant effort by Next Levos in this first game, but Brand Esports had it figured out. Never let go, despite Lords being stolen away by the smooth operator, Boyet. Just wasn't gonna be enough. Down as to how Brand Esports, you know, completely broke down the strategy of NXPE. This is still the same storyline that we. Yeah, so this is probably just gonna go in the hands of NXPE, but still, Kyle Teasy goes what? in. Flat Teasy, though, able to secure that turtle here. The crash comes down, still looking for a kill. Few with the Black Dragon form. There's Ding as well. Pushing him back. Few has to flicker. Able to get the first blood though from Boyette. They're still going. Few quite low. They have the CC. It's Brusco. Able to grab a kill himself and Ding falls. A trade there with Bren coming out on Dame Space. Well, you know, this time Flat is setting himself oh, the up dragon? there. Trying to buy some time. Few does use that Dragon form. They're gonna push Boyette back here. He's quite low. Can they grab the oh! kill? Few able to grab that one. Turtle's gonna reset for now, but with Boyette down. Oh, that highlight would be played a lot of times. I mean, myself included, I would clip that. I have so many questions like, who dashed in first? Did Few see it? Did Brusco see it? Oh, just... Well, right now, it's gonna be the Turtle, the focus here. Ding making his way Boyette, there. Turtle again? one fourth, Flap Teasy jumping in, gonna flick her in though. Trying to stun him if he can. They go in. It's Flap Teasy getting the turtle again. Brusco falls here to Kyle Teasy and Ding's in trouble as he falls in the jungle as Super Marco grabs himself. Now the carry is online. And again, as mentioned earlier, Super Marco is having a cakewalk. It's so difficult. Oh, there's a kick. Brusco going to go in with the way of the dragon. Can they find the kill they're looking for? Ogwin going to get taken out you? by Domang. They're still looking for more. Ding is going to be in trouble here as Few grabs a kill. Flap Teasy was looking for an angle, but not going to commit. Few, one hit away. Oh. Domang can't get it. And now it's Super Marco. The focus, he can't withstand the damage. Few, Few still there. The focus on Boyet. Flap Teasy now joining the party as well. Shadow kill comes out. Oh. Looking for another. Kyle Teasy flexing on him. Probably the Lapu Lapu and Ruby. Either that or he's going for a wind of nature to deal with the carry, but Ding, again. Oh, look at the burst. Oh, you can't escape Super Marco there. When there's no turrets around, is basically, I'd say a medieval knight going conceal. up against a member of SWAT. There's a conceal play. Conceal play comes in. Few was looking for a moment himself. Ogwen pulls at Ding, but so far they just get that turret. They're gonna be happy with that. The Lord has to be worked on from NXPE here. Bottom side holding on to the last inhibitor turret of their base. But look at Bren, even with the lead, still patiently waiting here. Still working on it. Few gonna Ooh. bob and weave in. Divine Glaive picked up by going, will it be enough damage? Here comes Kyle TZ. Oh! He gets kicked into the base. The turret does fall. Kyle TZ taken out of the picture. And next experience. I'm not gonna come in. We're just gonna clean the house, clean the towers, and look for the next setup. But NXP, they know they had that advantage here. Oh, they're still gonna be looking for another one. The suppress comes oh, out. The tranche, and they can't find it. What they're looking for? Super Marco able to grab a kill. Gets Boyette. That's a double. Still gonna be chasing down NXP in the mid lane. Flickers in himself, oh. making a triple. Can he grab another one? The kick comes out. Brusco gonna be in trouble. Few grabs the kill, and it's only Ding left alive to defend the base here as Bren marches down the mid lane to take the series in a sweep. Brandy Sports welcomes Next Play Evos into the big leagues with a dominant win, 2-0. About 15 minutes into game two. Ends the game in traditional style. Recall behind the base. The hive definitely is hype right now. They just took out the kings of the amateur. Prove patience. If there's nothing to be patient on, you play very, very aggressive, and that's that's what uh, you did against Next Play Evos alongside Flap Really punishing and pummeling down the Fred.